Hello, welcome to Elizabeth Reads. Today we have one of Poppy and Sam's books, Pig Gets Stuck. So this is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam and a dog called Rusty. On the farm, there are six pigs. The pigs live in a pen with a little house and the smallest pig is called Curly. It's time for breakfast. Mrs. Boot gives the pigs their breakfast, but Curly is so small, he doesn't get any. Curly is hungry. He looks for something else to eat in the pen, and then he finds a little gap under the wire. Curly is out. He squeezes through the gap under the wire and he is out in the farmyard. He meets lots of other animals in the farmyard. Which breakfast would he like to eat? Oh. Curly decides he wants the hen's breakfast. He thinks the hen's breakfast looks delicious. So he squeezes through the gap in the fence. The hen's food is so good, he gobbles it all up. The hens are not pleased. Mrs. Boot sees Curly. Curly hears Mrs. Boot shouting at him. What are you doing in the hen run, Curly? He runs to the fence. He tries to squeeze through the gap, but he has eaten so much breakfast, he is too fat. Curly is stuck. Curly pushes and pushes, but he can't move. He's stuck in the fence. They all push. Mrs. Boot, Poppy, and Sam all push Curly. He squeals and squeals and his sides hurt. But, oh, phew, Curly is out. With a grunt, Curly pops through the fence. He's out, he's out, shouts Sam. He is safe now. Mrs. Boot picks up Curly. Poor little pig, she says, and she carries him back to the pig pen. The end. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.